In this time people are loving to shop from online day by day. Perhaps you've been thinking of starting your own business for years. But you've never gotten around to taking that all important. The first step may be you're looking for an extra source of income to prepare for the recession that we all know is just around the corner. Or maybe you've already been affected by it and your main income has dried up. Well as Gary Vee tells us there's never been a better time in human history to set up a business and of course, that's mostly thanks to the internet. In today's video, we're focusing on businesses that can be scaled not online jobs that are limited by your working hours. So let's not waste any more time and get straight to the 12 businesses you can start right away. That's right not next week not even tomorrow but today. Number 01. Flipping Goods. Flipping things basically means buying something from one place and then selling it to somebody else for a higher price. Some people who do it source their products from thrift stores garage sales and flea markets. But you can do the entire thing online and buy items from Amazon or eBay or Craigslist and then resell them. Even after fees for processing and delivery you can make good profits for clicking a few buttons. It's a good idea to find a niche you're interested in and that has potential for big profit. But make sure to look around that niche in detail to get a good knowledge of the going rates the idea is to get really good knowledge on the going rates in a specific area. More in-depth knowledge than any other people who buy and sell from time to time and that knowledge will give you the ability to make money after doing it. Number 02. Start a blog. Blogging has come a long way since its inception. What was once a virtual journal has now turned into a marketing and even monetization tool. Whether you make money from publishing sponsored posts, hosting third-party ads, or selling your products, a blog is a great online business idea. The key to starting a successful blog is to focus on building an engaged, loyal audience. When you start with an audience-centric approach, you'll cultivate a community that trusts you. And when you can earn trust, you can start to drive revenue. Number 03. Digital Online Courses. If you've got valuable know-how in a particular area of course you can make money from one-to-one -one classes online. But that isn't scalable the money you make depends on the number of hours you put in teaching lessons. But there is a way you can scale the same idea beyond the hours you put in turn your lessons into an online course. This is a great way of getting exponential sales without exponential operating costs. In other words, you can keep on making money without putting in any more time. Also if you've got a successful blog you can collect a lot of your best ideas in the form of an ebook. And the great thing is if you've already got a following on your blog you already have a customer base well written ebooks can easily sell for $10 to download. And if it's really great it could sell for more like 200. Keep in mind there are a lot of digital courses out there though so if you want to differentiate yourself. You'll want to find a specific niche and offer a special book. Number 04. Social Media Consultant. Larger enterprises can hire an agency or full-time staff member to run their social media accounts. But small businesses often have to handle their own social media marketing. With so many responsibilities, business owners are often too busy. Overwhelmed or undereducated about the importance of a social media presence to spend time developing and implementing a great social media strategy. As a social media consultant, you can help small businesses determine the best tactics, posting schedules and content for their target audience. As their follower count grows, so will your business. Facebook and Twitter are still the top business networks, but businesses often tend to struggle with more visual platforms like Instagram, Garyvee, Tumblr, and Snapchat. All of these platforms have huge consumer audiences, but many businesses don't realize how big they are, how effective they can be and how to make them work for their brand. Number 05. Low-Cost Accessories. Do you know anyone who doesn't have a smartphone these days think about every tech product from phones to smartwatches that can be placed or wrapped in something? The market is huge there are lots of websites that sell accessories in bulk. And you can turn a pretty decent profit if you know what you're doing you can go even further. And contact suppliers directly to negotiate better deals and figure out the best shipping routes to cut down cost. And if you feel fancy you can hire a freelance graphic designer to make you some interesting designs. And make a deal with a painting and custom shop to apply the design to your products. And here's a pro tip make sure you also get full rights on the design sure the cost will increase. And you're adding an extra cog into your little machine. Number 06. Design and Post-Production Agency. 
In the age of the internet content is everything and every piece of content needs a face whether that's a thumbnail a banner, a cover or even post-production. There is no shortage of work it's also an interesting domain if you're a very creative person. Because the competitive advantage will come from your own ability to create better visuals and how good you are with clients. But the competition is too big and hard for this, yes 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 we hear you but think of it. This way the entry barrier for designers is very low because everyone who changed the color of the background on time is calling themselves a designer now. So that means if you're actually good and know what you're doing, you're instantly better than the majority of people in the field now. You also need to get good with handling clients and making good proposals that you actually can complete people, don't mind paying extra if the extra is justified after you get the hang of this hire. Number 07, Drop Shipping. Niche and viral products you can't have a list like this without mentioning drop shipping. But there's an important note here drop shipping can go very poorly if you're doing it wrong. The argument against drop shipping is that profit margins are very low and you need a lot of orders to get some real cash flow. There's also no reason people should buy from you if they can find the same product on a more trusted website like Amazon. People get caught up in the trap of drop shipping when they try to make a website. That sells literally everything that can be sold online and they expand too big into every market thinking. The more products they offer the more chances they have. They waste time and energy thinking they're making the next Alibaba and that's the wrong way to do it. There's a website that made close to a million dollars in sales by selling only one type of item with one design. A blanket with a burrito print on it others made a lot of money during this pandemic by drop shipping puzzles. Number 08. Community-oriented businesses. We're talking affiliate marketing, blogs, podcasts, YouTube channels and everything in between we decided to place them all into one group. Because they're all super dependent on one very important factor community. We can actually say the real business here is community building then it's just a matter of how you monetize it. The thing with these businesses that is often neglected is you need huge numbers of orders or views in order to be profitable. You want to make good money out of the blog you better have a couple of million views a month. You want to promote products through affiliate marketing to your community. You better have a big number of loyal followers just to be clear. We aren't saying it's impossible, we're saying if you want to start a blog to make money. It's going to take a very very long time until you get there. So unless you're super passionate about writing and creating content it might not be the right call. Number 09. Concierge Service. Here we go into some juicy stuff if you don't know by now a concierge is usually a hotel employee who's in charge of making sure guests have the stuff to do. When they stay there it can involve anything from booking restaurants, making reservations, organizing trips and so on. Have you ever planned a trip with your friends and there's always that one person who takes care of everything from accommodations to the logistics of the entire trip. And you think to yourself wow we should really pay you for this because we don't have the time or know how to search for everything. This can actually be turned into a pretty interesting new age business. Think of it as a new age tourism, travel and event planning agency. People want to do cool stuff they have the money, to do cool stuff but don't always know where. That cool stuff actually is and that is where you come in let's say you have a couple of friends who want to plan a trip next year. They want to swim, drive speed boats and watch the sunset from an infinity pool. Every night for two weeks straight your job is to find the perfect location that has all the amenities they need along with flight transportation to and from the airport everything booked and ready. Number 10. Web Optimization and Data Analyst. A very similar concept to the graphic design agency where you need to have a special skill set beforehand what can be measured can be tracked and improved. And your job is to do just that not every business owner knows how to get their websites to come up higher on Google or other search engines. And of course, that means more traffic and more money. If you've got experience in this field you could use it to show business owners how you can use analytics data strategic, keywords, and content structure to get more web traffic. And again it's something you can learn fairly, quickly if you're internet savvy. Number 11. New Age Marketing. Marketing has become such a broad term that nobody can say what exactly it means. But think about it like this marketing is like movement you can walk run ride a bike or run a jet. If you have the money for it the purpose is to get you going but it's not about speed it's about efficiency. 
Do you remember the burrito blanket website from before one of the ways they marketed their product is by promoting photos of cute puppies in burrito blankets on Instagram? Did you say ah already that's what we mean by new age marketing? In order to be successful online you need to know two languages, the first one is obviously English but the second one is internet language. Internet language means understanding what makes a meme funny, why TikTok clips are going viral, why the cake is a lie and what's on the hot page on Reddit. Right now you can't really learn internet language, it's something you just acquire by spending a lot of time online and if you have the business skills too. Number 12. Virtual Assistant. Do you have impeccable organizational skills and task management abilities? Maybe it's time to put those skills to good use by becoming a virtual assistant. VA services typically consist of basic administrative tasks like entering data, making travel arrangements and answering phone calls. Previous experience in this field is ideal but not required. Platforms like TaskRabbit and Zirtual make it easy for VA professionals to find jobs. They allow you to create an online profile and sign up for tasks you want to complete. Such as data research, virtual assistants or basic errands, and begin building clientele. What business do you think should have made it onto the list let us know in the comments and of course as a thank you for staying with us until the end here's your bonus. Number 13 automation and bots. No surprises here if you have the ability to build a system that automates the process. What are you even doing here go do it like it or not. People are being replaced by automated processes so make sure you're the one who builds them. This is not a matter of right or wrong or if it's ethical or not. The industrial revolution will repeat itself and it won't wait for you to be comfortable with the idea. People are so resistant to change to the point where they fail to see that progress is made to make our lives easier. Try to be ahead of the curve and that's it for this video. We hope you learned something new and we opened your eyes to the opportunities you can get online. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We uploading amazing facts, the latest news, business ideas and travel video on a daily basis.